What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about Sony. Now, Sony's been doing pretty good uh, in the eyes of the gaming public, but as a company, they've been having a lot of issues, restructuring, uh, selling off assets and whatnot. And uh, PlayStation 4 is really one of the biggest things. Between October and December 2014, Sony sold 6.4 million PS4s. That's a lot. And 1.1 million PS3s giving them a quarterly profit of $228 million. They're doing really good in the home console market, but in other avenues, they're really kind of failing. When you take into account the PlayStation TV and the PlayStation Vita only accounting for 1.4 million sales together, those are technically fails in that same period of time. PlayStation Vita kind of picked up at the end of the year last year with Borderlands 2, but other than that, there really hasn't been any spark with the console, and I don't see anybody with PlayStation TVs. I think I know one person with it, and his name's Briar Rabbit. Check out his channel. Now, Sony has announced a write-down of the PlayStation Vita and PlayStation TV down to $93 million. I don't know what the estimated uh, value was before this, but a write-down means that they have reduced the uh, amount of the assets that these consoles and you know TV peripherals are worth. So uh, they're losing a lot of money in other departments other than the video game home console department, which PS4, of course, is winning. I've already seen the PlayStation TV go down in price twice. I think now you can get it for like 60 bucks, so it's really cheap and pretty much it's like an Apple TV. It doesn't have as much functionality as something like that, but for the low low, I mean, it's something that's similar. Uh, I'll probably end up picking up one just to have, you know, to have inside my Sony collection or a big Sony guide, but if it were just for the functionality, I'd always pick something else at this point. Now, when you take into account, you know, Sony's hit, hits or misses, their gaming segment of their company has accounted for $4.4 billion, uh, I believe, in that period of time. Uh, and uh, that's a lot of money. And, and their other avenues of revenue have been failing. Their computers are failing. The TVs aren't really doing too well. Uh, the PlayStation Vita TV isn't doing well. The PlayStation Vita isn't doing well. But their home consoles are really what's keeping them going. And it's been announced now that Sony's video game segment or their department of video gaming accounts for one fifth of Sony's entire company at this point. So my question to you guys is this. Do you think that Sony is going to restructure and really start focusing more heavily on just video games? And if they do do that, if they take some of the resources that, you know, people who've been making laptops and, you know, focusing on the TV brands, their phones, if they take some of these other uh, assets and they focus it in on gaming, what does that mean for the PlayStation 4? What does it mean for a future handheld, like a Vita 2? You guys let me know in the comment section what you think. Is this a good thing for Sony? Is it a bad thing for Sony? I think it's it's kind of in the middle. I think it's great that they're doing well with their video games, but I think it's pretty terrible that uh, everything else seems to be failing. The Vita's failing, the Vita TV's failing, and their TVs are failing, their computers are done, and uh, the PlayStation 4 is pretty much everything that's holding the company together. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. As always, I'm the... What is that? Oh, you stayed through to the end of the video, so that means you have the opportunity to win this. All right, so put in this code now, go to iTunes, put in this code right now. You put in this code right now, you're the first person to put it in, you win a prize. Let me know who got it in the comment section below. And as always, I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.